Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday, the day after Tuesday, which was Powell Day, uh, shank day for us. You know, not a good day. We took a loss yesterday. Um, annoying. Uh, as you all know, we were short Euro Norway. We got stopped out at 11.12. We tried to buy dollars, uh, Euro Swiss. Um, pick some of that up around 15, puke that at 99. So nothing like, nothing's going to break the bank or anything, but just fucking annoying, right? Um, one of those days where nothing really worked. And then to cap it all off, we were long dollar yen going into Powell. Uh, we bought at 20 after the fix, sold 35s, bought 20 again, sold 35s. So now we're long at 90. Uh, Obviously, it's at 30 when Powell starts speaking, but then we get dinged uh, on the way down to 130.50. Let's look at dollar yen. Let's recap the the joy, the Shawshank uh, that it was all the way down to 130.48. Uh, I thought he was the same, relatively hawkish, but the market just is like not buying it right, uh, even though rates were... 366 the yield was 366 at the tens and we're still at 365 now um they weren't buying it but then of course they were buying it went back up to 50 last night for the state of the union went down to 75 and here we are at 19 or 15 right where we opened the week with a gap open i still think dollar yen and and dollar Swiss uh, need to go higher because U.S. rates look like for sure they're going higher. This also makes me weary of stocks uh, and oil, but shit, let's have a look. Dollar yen's not higher. Dollar Swiss is definitely not higher. Crude is through the fucking roof, and equities are near the highs. So what do you do? Uh, you're itching to put these trades on but the prices just doesn't look right. You just have to stand aside and, and be patient, right? So today, we'll relook at stocks if we get up to 4207 again. Um, we, do, we don't think this belongs here in a tightening, in a very sort of strong tightening cycle. Uh, also, dollar yen, don't think she belongs here. Can she go down? Can she... Can she go all the way down to 129.11? Sure, why not? Uh, so we're right in the middle here at 130.15. Not really sure what to do. Um, so we're just going to stand aside this morning. I guess if you weren't jaded yesterday with Euro Norway, you would say on the dailies now this is a turn bar, big tail, uh, into like sort of, historically very high prices um, and if you were to drill down on this you'll see there's like a little sort of head and shoulders deal here you could do this here's your neckline it's a bit wonky but I don't know through this low here what is that uh, 1104.66 that was the low at the open yesterday um, That was the first hourly bar yesterday. We traded down there, but then we just, you know, it was almost like as soon as I, as soon as I was like, let's like be conviction short Euro Norway, bang. <laughs> it's like all this, all the uh, soft hands put the same trade on. And uh, anyway, funny, but not that funny. Point is today, um, three Fed speakers, no real data to speak of. Um, I guess Williams is is, is is highlighted in the calendars um, that I read. That's at 3.15 p.m. Swiss time. Um, they're going to be hawkish, right? So try and get short tens if you can. Um, maybe, net, maybe down near 3.60. Uh, and just keep an eye on things, right? If... We get more hawkishness, and if stocks turn, can you sell Aussie? Uh, you know, back through what's this low? Back through fifty. 
I don't know. Um, looks like we're just standing aside here. I don't have any great ideas on what to do with all this. I guess if, if I was walking into this clean and unjaded, I would say the same thing I said yesterday. you got to sell your own Norway. Um, but, you know, you saw how that worked yesterday. So be careful what you wish for or be careful what you do. The main thing, I guess, is I think rates have to go higher still. So try and fade your way into a short tens position. Keep an eye on stocks. Uh, if this thing goes up another 30 handles, we're going to give it a little sell. Um, and dollar yen and dollar Swiss, story-wise, macro-wise, do not look right. Um, but their price action... And again, this could just be the fact that the flock, the retail flock, is long dollar Swiss, which they are, and they're long euro Swiss, which they are. Um, this is why this is having so much trouble going higher. That said, we talked about yesterday, this is kissing the cobra. 92.92. Like a radio station. This is a huge medium term level in dollar Swiss. Is this going to get resolved this week? I think it probably will, right? It's tens start yielding 380 again. Um, the dollars, you know, certainly dollars against Swiss and dollars against yen are going to have to re reprice. Um, so keep an eye on that level. That's very important. But as far as at the open today, uh, guns are down. We're just watching, chilling a bit, uh, trying to get our bearings after a shank day yesterday. All right, that's all I got. Talk to you guys later, meaning tomorrow. Good luck out there. Ciao.